Good morning. Welcome to Irvine Finch Boat Launch Access on the Sacramento River. We're outside of Hamilton City in Glen County. And my name is Trish Ladshute. I'm an environmental scientist with California State Parks. I'm also here with my fellow environmental scientist, Shay. Shay! Here I am. <laughs> what Sorry. are you doing? I was looking at all these pollinators on this narrow leaf milkweed. Did you see the carpenter bee over here on the primrose? Not yet, I haven't. Oh. Aw. No, they are going to town on these flowers. I love the pollinators and all of this biodiversity and vegetation that we brought back. Can't believe these 17 acres used to be a walnut orchard. I know, it's unbelievable. You know, a part of the fun of working with California State Parks is upholding our mission to preserve the extraordinary biological diversity of California. And here we get to do this, like as Shay mentioned, removing a walnut orchard that was along the Sacramento River and restoring it to riparian vegetation. Trish, could you describe what riparian is and the importance of what we're doing here? Yeah, definitely. So riparian habitat is a transitional zone between your waterway and your uplands. You can go anywhere around where you are, any streams and rivers, and that strip of vegetation is riparian habitat. By definition, riparian habitat's diversity is unbelievable. The different types of plants and animals that call that habitat home is pretty remarkable. Unfortunately, throughout the state of California, over 90% of our existing riparian habitat has been lost to land conversion. So that makes projects such as this out here at Irvine Finch so important to the overall biodiversity of our area and the water quality. Wow, so for our little state park district to pull this off, it's pretty incredible. It is incredible. And one of my most favorite parts about this restoration is that we did it all entirely in-house. Our maintenance staff was invaluable with helping us remove the trees, prep the land, and get these berms installed. Even our district superintendent, Matt Teague, was involved with the irrigation design and installation. Our natural resources staff did all the planning and the planting, and we even had help with some of our partners. One in particular was Salt Creek Conservation Camp, who helped us dispose of the walnut orchard by burning these large piles out here. We also had help from Chico California Conservation Corps when we needed to lay the drip line and plant the plants. We had so much drip line. All of this drip line, 12,000 feet of drip. 12,000 feet? That's 400 football fields. It was a lot of work and it was only able to be accomplished with a large crew working well together. They installed all the drip and they installed 2,300 emitters and helped us plant 2,300 plants. This is a California sycamore. It was planted with just two leaves. All this growth is just four months. And all of these plants you see at this restoration site were grown in-house by our very own environmental service interns. Chad Mackey and Cassie Corridoni. They gathered seeds and cuttings from across the Sacramento River at our other parks to really hone in on the genetic integrity of our area. What are you doing with those milk cartons? The milk cartons are a really special part of a restoration project. They help us prevent herbivory, so prevents animals from munching on our little plants and it also protects them from our invasive species treatment. We do a lot of herbicide work because with 17 acres it's the only way we can stay on top of these invasives and make sure that our native plants can get established with less competition. These milk cartons will protect them from any offspray of the herbicide. They won't last for very long though once our plants get established, we can remove the milk cartons and they'll also start to break down, which means we should be able to remove them in about two years. Well, Trish, I love looking at all of the plants that we got to plant here at this restoration site, but it would also be very cool to bring the audience to a more established restoration site across the river. What do you say we head out? Let's go. Well, welcome back. We are just downstream and across the river from our last location. This spot we call the Pine Creek at Sacramento River Access over here in Butte County. This particular restoration site was completed just over two years ago by River Partners, one of our local restoration contractors. You can see behind me 
last fall they actually drill seeded in some native grasses. The native grasses will help outcompete the non-natives and reduce any herbicide use. Directly behind Shay and myself is another cottonwood tree. If you remember from our last location, we were standing next to one, which was just about as tall as we are. Two years later, we're almost 20 feet tall. It's pretty amazing. Maybe in 30 to 40 years, we'll reach riparian restoration. there's things you can do too to improve native habitat. These are a few of my favorite riparian species to include in my own yard. We have California Rose here, which is a wonderful, wonderful plant. I love these rose hips and the roses themselves already have some pollinators on them. And then over here we have showy milkweed. I'm sure you might be familiar with the monarch butterfly and how important milkweed habitat is for them. It also provides food for other insects as well as hummingbirds. Over here, speaking of hummingbirds, is the California primrose. While standing here, we have witnessed several hummingbirds already come into these long tubular yellow flowers. They're a great addition to your yard. If you want to encourage the other seed eating birds into your yard, the deer grass is a wonderful perennial bunch grass to have into your yard. I know I have one in mine. There's a lot we can do as homeowners to increase our biodiversity and be water wise. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you at Bidwell Sacramento River State Park.